What's up you guys, it's Brandy. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I'm coming at you with another foundation review video and I'm excited about this one because this product just launched yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And I went and copped it because Sis Riri has come out with a product for us dry skin girls. So you know, I'm excited, I'm excited. She just came out with the Pro Filter Hydrating long wear foundation went and picked it up yesterday i had to go to two different stores just to find my shade or what i think is my exact shade you know it's been a little struggle a little slight struggle with trying to find my perfect foundation shade in her complexion products but i feel like i got it y'all even with my summer tan i feel like this is a spot on shade match for us. If you're one of my foundation twins, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to this video. And I'm just excited to see how this product is gonna wear because you guys know, I've already tried out her uh, Pro Matte, no, what is this one called? The Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. And I really, really love this, but this is not really for dry skin girls. I haven't experienced any issues with this particular product, but I'm like, if she gonna come out with something specifically for us dry skin girls, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna try it out for us. So before jumping in, y'all already know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be welcoming all of you guys who might be new here to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my content. Hopefully you will stick around a little bit, peruse my channel and like what you see, and then hopefully click that little red subscribe button and join the family. Welcome back to all of my oldies. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna take a whole lot of time with reading claims and all of that. I'm gonna just give y'all what the gist is about this foundation. Of course, you know it's supposed to be catered to normal to dry skin women like myself. It's also supposed to give you medium to full coverage and it's supposed to give you a natural finish as well. And of course, be long wear because we want foundation to last all day. This is what the packaging looks like i actually really feel like i preferred this packaging over the one for the matte foundation because this is very travel friendly i feel like you can really literally squeeze all of the product out of this you get 1.08 ounces and i believe that's about yeah it's the same amount that you get with her other foundation so they might look like they're slightly different but it's the exact same amount i picked mine up in the shade 385. I picked this up as one of my summer shades, so it is gonna be darker. It's gonna be matching my body. If you guys remember from my other video when I did a real color match of the other foundation to find my perfect shade, I ended up going with 330, which was a great match for like wintertime me. But for summertime me, I feel like 385 is gonna be where it's at. So we're gonna go ahead and apply it. I've already prepped my skin. I put on moisturizer, I put on sunscreen. So we're good to go. We're looking very nice and you know, glistening and all of that. So we're gonna apply this on top. I'm just gonna use my Morphe Y6 on one side and then I'm gonna use her beauty sponge on the other side, which I absolutely love. I use this all the time. I'm gonna start with like two pumps and this is what it looks like. It's about the same consistency as the other product, as her other foundation, which isn't bad. I did notice that when trying to color match myself in the store, I feel like this does oxidize as well, so that's something to note. Okay, yeah, this is hydrating. I still have all of my luminosity. It actually looks more hydrating than what my skin looked like before applying this. The finish and how it looks on your skin is completely natural. It looks like skin, which I always love with her products. And it, for the most part, it gave me medium coverage. Like it covered up those blemishes I had right there. And it just is laying really nicely on the skin. And you guys see, like this looks like a perfect match to my body. Like a perfect spot on match to my body. I get so hyped when I found to find it when I find a foundation that actually matches me and it doesn't take a lot of work. Let's go on to the other side and use the beauty sponge and see how it blends out. I'm liking the beauty sponge side too. I actually am like, which one do I prefer? I feel like I prefer the beauty sponge side, just the finish of it because it's not, to me it's not as dewy as the brush side and it seems like it actually pack the I don't know it just looks a little 
a little more natural on the sponge side than it does on the actual brush side. I feel like the brush gave it more a little bit more coverage as well, but it left it dewier. But I am loving, loving the way that this looks on my skin. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking natural. And it feels good on the skin too. Okay, so I'm gonna do another pump just because I want to build this up to full coverage, make sure that we can actually get full coverage. So I'm only gonna put it in the places where I need it. Okay, you guys, so this is the foundation applied all over using the brush on this side and the sponge on this side. And I'm up here like close, close up on my face inspecting it. And it's not settling into my fine lines. It's just laying like, it's laying so nicely on the skin. Riri does it again. I know I'm premature with this and saying this is bomb, but just the application is just... It's amazing, like my skin looks so freaking good. So I'm gonna come back on once my entire face is completed and let you guys know what I think about this foundation and how the rest of my product products apply. I don't know why I can't talk right now, but how the rest of my products apply. So I will be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back with a completed face, your girl, did a little bit of eye makeup today, threw on some dramatic lashes cause it's been a minute. But I'm liking this makeup. I feel like it's very summery. Let me know what you guys think about it if you want to see a tutorial video or what. But back to the actual foundation, why we're all here. I still am in love with this foundation, y'all. My skin looks freaking amazing. With this on, the rest of my products applied easily. I almost didn't even spray a setting spray just because this foundation looks so, so good that you really don't need to set it or do anything. I also didn't set my full face with translucent powder or anything like that, but I did end up using powder products. So like when I did my concealer, I set those areas with my translucent powder that I always do. And then after I touched up my contour with the truffle matchstick i did go over it with some of this the becca bronzer just around the perimeter of my face and that's pretty much it all the other areas that didn't really have any other product i didn't apply anything didn't do anything to it so i'm really liking the finish of this a lot i look very you know luminous but not super oily like my skin looks dewy it looks healthy it looks moisturized i don't really see this crap we have people coming here to do something to the house. Y'all probably just heard the doorbell and the dog. So I'm gonna try to hurry up. But basically that's all I have to say at this moment. Our starting time is going to be considered 8.30 a.m. So I'm gonna have a full day to wear this foundation to let you guys know my thoughts. So I will be back on later on tonight. Okay, so I'm out here in natural lighting, you guys. It's not a super sunny day, but this is what the foundation looks like in natural lighting at least ignore my nose because i've still been blowing it a lot so the foundation my bronzer and everything that i put on my nose is kind of coming off but yeah this is what the foundation looks like up close right up in here at my pores everywhere and you guys can see right here kind of wore off right there too on those dark spots i probably could have built it up a little bit more there but for the most part I feel like it looks really, really good on my forehead everywhere. Looks good. So we're going to see how long this lasts. I've just been in the house. I'm getting ready to run errands and come back. But yeah, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. <laughs> so I'll check back in with you guys probably in a few hours. Okay, you guys, I'm sitting outside with the little dogs and figured I would give you guys a quick update on the foundation. It's been about nine hours now since I've applied the foundation. And this is what my skin's looking like. Not bad at all, it still, it still looks really skin-like. I will say I looked at it in a mirror in the house not too long ago, and it does look a little bit oily, just a little bit, like up here around my forehead area. But everywhere else on my face, it still looks pretty good. You're so weird and such a creep. Can y'all see him? He's such a creep. Come out here then. What you doing out here? Doing an update on my foundation. Do you want to weigh in? Like what? Why are you outside doing it? Because it's natural lighting out here. You a weirdo. 
can you go somewhere? Like, dang. Like I was saying, ignore him, please. I told you guys, I've still been blowing my nose, so all of the foundation is basically gone there. But everywhere else on my skin, it still looks good. I'm bringing y'all like real, real, real close up on it. It still looks pretty decent. I'm gonna keep it on for a few more hours, come back later on tonight or at the end of the night, and let you guys know what my final thoughts are. Go ahead and tell me what your predictions are in the comment section below if you guys feel like this is gonna hold up for 12 hours or not. Okay, you guys, I'm back. It's now the end of the night. Can you tell? Am I looking nice and fresh or what? <laughs> we about to talk about and get into this. I've now had this foundation on for almost 13 hours now, and this is what my skin is looking like. And I have to say, for 13 hours, I'm gonna be real. Like, it doesn't look that, that bad when you consider I've had this on for literally more than half of a full day. But for 13 hours, it's not as oily and as greasy as I was expecting it to be. And funny enough, the foundation did not wear off anywhere. Now I've told you guys in the updates, do not focus on this area of my face because the foundation's gone there pretty much. I'm very, very, very oily. Forget dewy, we're oily baby. And it's, it's all over, the shine is everywhere. I feel like I didn't start getting super, super oily probably until around, I don't know, maybe the nine or 10 hour mark, which isn't bad to me at all. Now, if you're someone who was expecting a hydrating foundation to keep you nice and matte just cause you powdered, then you're crazy. Let's, let's just be real, you're crazy. So I didn't really expect this to not be oily or not produce any oil throughout the day but yeah overall i feel like it's good it still didn't really settle into any of my fine lines i wanted to try this out i want to actually see if i blot it a little bit with some tissue i don't have blotting papers because y'all know i'm a dry skin girl what am i doing with blotting papers but i wanted to do this whole little tissue trick where people like tear the two ply away and then use it as a blotting paper and whatnot okay and we have a little bit of foundation that came off. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's not as much as I was expecting because I was pretty oily right there. There you go, my T-zone. We're good, I feel like we're refreshed. It looks, it still looks really good after blotting it. It still looks good. Overall, Riri came through like I thought she was. I really, 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 like this foundation so much. This is going to be one that I'm definitely gonna keep the shade match on point, super lightweight all day long. The application of it was amazing. The long wear is there. Y'all still see I'm, I'm done up. So yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about this foundation at all all if you guys have tried this out let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below if you're planning on trying it out let me know that in the comment section below as well and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and show you girls some love and if you are not a subscriber i don't know why but you can make it happen today by clicking that red subscribe button below and that's gonna be it for this video so i will see you guys in my next one bye